there's other creative things we can do with the bobbin whirler. One of those is if you want to tie with a rabbit strip, but you don't want the leather from the rabbit strip adding weight to the fly, the leather soaks up water and gets very heavy. Make your dubbing loop like you normally would, and lay that to the side. Take a straight cut rabbit strip and just take the tips of the, the fur right at the end and just lay your bobbin over those. Catch those with a couple of wraps, just loose though, don't cinch down on it because you're going to want to pull that out of there later. If your dubbing loop twists, just put your finger in it and unwind it so it's a single loop again. Hold your loop open with your index finger. Bring your tool up and hook it in the bottom there. Oops, don't pull on the rabbit fur, it'll come out. Hang the hook in the dubbing loop like that. <coughs> it's going to help probably if you wax your thread a little bit. It'll give the rabbit fur something to stick to. Pull that back through there a little bit. There we go. Cinch that up. Now if you work just the fur of the rabbit through the loop, without catching the leather in there. And then pull down on the tool. I got wax on my thumb, now everything's sticking to me. Pull the fibers through. Keep tension on the bobbin because that's going to hold those fibers in there. Take a good sharp pair of scissors and just cut parallel, try not to cut your thread, just cut parallel to the thread and just separate the fibers from the leather. We've made those loose loops, we're just going to pull that rabbit strip out of there. Now we just have the rabbit fur trapped in our loop. Hold the bobbin down, and give it a spin. Just let it spin until the material sticks out 90 degrees from the dubbing loop. You can start winding that on the thread. You can use your left hand to stroke it back so everything points towards the rear of the fly. When you run out of material, just wind your thread right up close to the hook. Turn the bobbin whirler perpendicular to the hook. and Just push up to unhook it. Slide the hook down. And you'll see the tag end of the loop there. Just tie that off. If it's still sticking up, you can cut the tag end of the loop off or you can wind over it with materials later on. But that's how you can catch a rabbit strip in the dubbing loop without having the leather of the rabbit weighting the fly down. <coughs> you can mix colors. Once you get a handle on this, you can tie flies with pink rabbit in the back, red rabbit in the front. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Again, make your whip finish. When you get to that fifth loop, slide the hook up. Catch the loop with the hook. Pull back on this single piece of thread. Just push up to unhook it. 